ChatGPT has introduced a new feature that you'll definitely want to be checking out, which is in his blog post article. They say they have introduced the ability to turn off chat history in ChatGPT. We're going to be talking about why this is so important and how to do this with a direct example using ChatGPT today. But basically what this is, is conversations with chat history disabled won't be used in training and improving their models and will not appear in the history sidebar. Now, why is this such a fantastic thing and why should you be checking it out? Well, it helps with some privacy concerns where the ChatGPT data model trains on your data. And it's really nice to be in control of this data that you're actually giving to the chatbot. So we're going to check out how exactly to disable this. But there are a few mentions when even using this newly created feature to disable the learning on your data. We'll talk about that as well. But first off, a word of caution and a story about the training model's data accidentally leaking information happened just recently with Samsung in this article here. And it says, never forget that anything you share with ChatGPT is retained and used for future training on the model. Samsung employees learned this the hard way after accidentally leaking top secret data. Samsung employees accidentally shared their confidential information while using ChatGPT for help at work. Samsung's semiconductor division also allowed its engineers to use ChatGPT to check their source code. And while they were using it, Samsung employees unintentionally leaked sensitive information to ChatGPT. Basically, they gave ChatGPT the chance to learn and train on the information that they sent down to it. And then while ChatGPT was answering questions to other people, it accidentally fed that on to other users who were using the chatbot. So now you really understand a practical real world example where sensitive information that you're supplying to the chatbot, which you should never do, can get leaked out to other people. So with that in mind, let's talk about this feature and how to enable it. And before we do, make sure to smash that like button for me so others can also see how to use this new hidden feature because it's not obvious at least to most people. But once you're logged into ChatGPT, you're gonna go down to the left-hand corner. You'll notice right here, the current user that's logged in. So mine is at a bulk. And by the way, if you have a friend who's a YouTuber, I've created a free tool that they can use at editbulk.com. Go share it with them right now. But anyways, we're gonna click the three dots to get more settings information. Here you can click help or frequently asked questions settings or log out. We want the settings option. In the settings option, what you'll notice is you have a theme, but what we're interested in is data controls. This is a brand new addition to the settings. You're gonna click the show button. Notice how they hide these data controls from you. That's because OpenAI and ChatGPT definitely want to learn from what you're sending it. So that's why this is more than likely hidden. At least that's my guess or my opinion on it but chat history and training is what we'll see now. It says that save new chats to your history and allow them to be used to improve ChatGPT via model training. Unsaved chats will be deleted from our systems within 30 days. That's also important to understand. We're gonna be talking about that as well. And then you have the option to export data or delete your account. So in order to turn off the training and learning on your data, you untoggle this button and then you hit X here. What you'll see on the left-hand side now is that chat history is turned off and that chats won't be saved to your history. But it also says your data will not be used for training our models to improve ChatGPT. So fantastic, we've now successfully enabled the feature. They make it really easy to enable the chat history back, which is one of the ways that they kind of are trying to push you back into using ChatGPT while it's training on your data because it's not going to store any information that you've been saving over in the chat history. Although the unsaved chats, the chats that you're actually making right now are still going to be cached for 30 days. Reason for this 30 day period is they kind of explain it in their blog post, which we're gonna check out right after you subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more of these tips and tricks. You now can use ChatGPT like normal so for example, I'm just gonna say, write me a hello world C++ program, and it should spit out a result here. Fantastic, it's doing work now. Now what I asked it here is not going to be trained on the model, and what results come out of that is also 
something they can't really train on, which is a fantastic thing for you and I, but not necessarily for ChatGPT or OpenAI. I'm still happy that they put this in. I wouldn't necessarily be completely reliant on the fact that they're not using the data in some form or fashion. Just because they say they're not training on it doesn't mean that they're not using the data in some other form. So again, always be careful of what you're submitting to these chatbots because sensitive information can potentially get leaked or held on a server that could also lead to a potential of being leaked. Anyway, with that being said, the last part here is when a chat history is disabled, we will retain new conversations for 30 days and review them only when needed to monitor for abuse before permanently deleting. So notice that these conversations that you're still making with the chatbot, even with the mode disabled to not train on your data, they are keeping that information stored at least on their servers, it seems, for 30 days while they review them in case of any kind of abuse. So that's mainly it, but I do want to also make a slight mention of the next round of ChatGPT, and that's for business subscription which is going to be professionals who need more control over their data, as well as enterprises seeking to manage their end users. ChatGPT Business will follow our API's data usage policies, which means that the end user's data won't be used to train our models by default. We plan on making ChatGPT Business available in the coming months. So it looks like we're going to get another version of this fairly soon that by default doesn't train on data. Hopefully it will retain our chat history in this version. I can only imagine that this is going to be a paid subscription model, just like they have ChatGPT Plus, which I go through in this video up top. You can check it out. Is ChatGPT Plus worth it versus ChatGPT? Who knows? Well, check out the video to figure out, and I'll put a link in the description below. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.